Several years ago, a book published by Lifeway Christian Resource titled Transformational Church, written by Tom Rader and Ed Stetzer, did an interesting survey. It was 2,300 churches all across North America, across 15 denominational lines. What was a staggering number was that half of those study of the churches that they found out was that those churches had no idea or no plan in place for a process of discipleship. 60% of those that conducted a study said that they had someone who was responsible for the spiritual formation of children, youth, or adults. As a result, Ed Stetzer said that from 70% to 80% estimated, churches have either stopped growing or they're declining. So often the responses I get from church leaders here is that, you know, I have a good idea. What we need, we need a better program. We need a better curriculum. We need better sermons. But what is so interesting is that in today's day and age, we have more information and resources of sermon, podcasts, and so forth more than ever, yet it seems like we're going the opposite direction, especially in the millennial generation. What we find out with this mosaic information structure of our society that we have, we have sermons on the tip of our fingers. I mean, sermons, thousands, tens of thousands, books that we can read more in, the, in our lifetime. Yet the statistic shows over and over again, all across an evangelical circle, that there's lesser, fewer conversion, fewer baptism, and fewer membership, and fewer attendance. What I believe is happening is that there is discipleship is not information transaction, nor discipleship is behavioral modification. But I believe discipleship is transformation. So what I'm saying is that discipleship is not a program we launch, it's a lifestyle we embrace. Now please don't get me wrong, I'm not saying programs are wrong or curriculums are wrong, but however, what I would say is that if people believe absolutely that their discipleship is going to happen because of their program, it's eventually going to die away. What's interesting is that Jesus didn't have a curriculum, if we think about it, Jesus really even didn't have a classroom. But his method was the people. In a book, uh, Simple Deliberacy uh, was written, and one of the interesting things he said was this. He says, the problem within our churches is not the gap between what we know and what we do not know, but it's the gap between what we know and what we do. See, we have been over-educated beyond our obedience. I mean, I think we understand why discipleship is such a big deal. It's because we don't see it happening within our churches. Or another way is that I think discipleship has become a term that we use, yet we don't even really know what we're talking about. Discipleship basically is living and loving like Jesus and inviting others to do so. It's all about Christ, isn't it? So if that is our basis of understanding, even in our gospel of our understanding, we begin to not do a gospel presentation, but we begin to live in a gospel conversation. Discipleship is not a destination, but it's a direction of life that we begin to live. So those who are disciples of Christ, discipleship really is to, to learn Christ, to grow with Christ, and to go for Christ. Thanks for watching our videos. You can submit your questions or your thoughts by email, Twitter, or comment section below. Don't forget to like our Facebook page to enter into a drawing for a free copy of our book. We will be giving away a copy of Ordinary Radicals mentioned in this video. Go to the description below and find out more how you can enter in. Subscribe today to find out next week's episode chapter on our book, Ordinary Radicals.